Hi, my name is Vic Morgan, I'm Managing Director of a business called Venture Stream Limited. And today I'm going to be sharing some tips with you of how to make the most of business opportunities in online retail in the run up to Christmas. But before we get started with that, I need to get into the mood. That's more like it. In terms of my background, first, I've been running online retailing businesses since the late 90s in both the UK and the US, uh, across quite a wide range of merchandise categories. And currently, as I, as I mentioned before, I run a business called VentureStream, which is a digital consulting business, which helps businesses of all sizes to really make the most of opportunities, growth opportunities, uh, particularly in online retail, and where some of very big changes are happening in the online experience, the wider online experience, uh, particularly as it relates to mobile devices and how that not only affects online but the, the in-shop experience as well. Getting into specific tips, I'm going to go quite quickly through a number of slides because I think it's important to take quite a holistic approach to, uh, to, to managing Christmas just like any other time of year easy to have blind spots and put all your eggs in, in one basket to uh, pardon the pun. Uh, it's important to launch early. Um, I start playing Christmas songs uh, to my staff on uh, June 25th, uh, the midway point, but it is important to launch early. And it's never too early to have a launch early mindset, even later in the season, because campaigns differ as the season progresses. Always learn from Christmas past. Uh, make sure you make note of what works and what doesn't work. Uh, I've seen all too often uh, 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 organizations not learning from what's happened in the past. Christmas by your site, uh, if that's a word, um, but not just the website. Uh, it's also important that that permeates throughout your campaigns. I've seen either extremes where great email campaigns or mailers are, are not matched up by extra Christmas effects and design and love on the website to make sure it's all joined up. And think about before and after Christmas. Uh, uh, the the season the season is not just the lead up and, and the peak in early December, but obviously it's very important to to make the most of it through the sales season and leading into the new year, where you want to keep that momentum as much as possible. Christmas is a very exciting time of year for online retailers and introducing new stock. Make sure that you give the proper attention to how it's merchandised on the site, where it's featured, whether it be on home pages or category pages. As you start to see sales rates, it's important to respond quickly from a replenishment standpoint. Uh, out of stock management is also very key, not only just getting products, attempting to get products back into stock, but also knowing when to remove them from the online store or to re-merchandise them and alert customers uh, to any messaging about when products will be back in stock. Stay on top of it on a daily basis. Free seasonal gifts are a way of an idea of how to turn potentially poor selling items into a marketing opportunity, especially as Christmas comes near, using some of those, especially if they're low value items, uh, potentially to delight customers in the form of a free gift. Conversion rate optimization, or CRO, is an important thing to manage in an online retailing business throughout the year. And even though conversion rate during the Christmas season increases, it's still an important time to manage and make improvements. Many new visitors to an online shop, especially around Christmas, don't know what they're looking for, so it can help to create special groupings and categories. Uh, for customers to more easily find what they're looking for. You oftentimes see Christmas gift guides that are there just for the Christmas season, and these can be very effective. So things like stocking fillers and gifts for him for, and her. So even if they're going to be potentially temporary categories, it just makes it that much easier for site visitors. Free delivery and free delivery promotion is an important consideration. Oftentimes, Introducing a free delivery code earlier in the Christmas season, late November, for example, early December. This can often bring forward a plan purchased by a consumer and can sometimes lead them to coming back and placing the second order before Christmas, which can be great. Uh, 
Don't forget to reward loyalty. You've got customers you've been serving throughout the year. Don't take for granted their custom at this time of year. And sometimes you can, you can create mechanisms and rewards to, to acknowledge that, such as uh, promotions that might provide an incentive to a customer who places an order over a certain amount, a cash gift voucher that they can either give to a friend or use themselves. Like free delivery promotions, this oftentimes can result to a repeat purchase before Christmas, which, which is great. Um, communication of last order dates, uh, potentially the biggest thing you could do to, to help CRO before Christmas because no customer, no one wants to be let down with a, a delivery that doesn't make it in time for Christmas. So make sure you give extra special attention to promoting your, your delivery dates, your last order dates to, for guaranteed delivery before Christmas. And make sure you, you differentiate between standard delivery and next day delivery because people are really looking for that and they're looking for it across your site, on your home page, on your product pages, etc. And lastly, online retailers uh, don't all have the benefit of a, of, a, of, an, of a physical shop to accompany them. If they do, then you have the benefit of customers being able to order right up until Christmas Eve. If you're an online only business, gift vouchers can be a way to continue to get conversion right up until right up until Christmas, uh, especially if those gift vouchers which you purchase can be delivered electronically. It's easy in the run up to Christmas to focus on product, that's very important, but often it's your services that makes or breaks customer response. Returns policy, think about extending your standard returns policy. I've seen that as late as mid-February, but at least the end of January to make it easier on customers will be gifting their products, their purchases out to other people. Your delivery policy is said before, you can't say it again, to make sure you signpost and message that clearly and not only on the site, but on in your email communications, on your Facebook pages. Think about traditional sales and customer service or not just, not just the online component, but also being able to pick up the phone, running extended phone support. It's this time of year when, when even the most online customer thinks to pick up the phone. Email support as well. Make sure that's being monitored. If you can extend the, that coverage of email and phone support a little bit beyond your normal hours and even into weekends can make a big difference. The extra services that you provide, gift wrapping, for example, can be a big deal at this time of year where that is something that customers come to expect. And if you can think more aggressively in terms of in terms of the way you price that and potentially offering that as a free service, it can be an even bigger enhancement and conversion optimizer with orders. And also think about what happens after the purchase with customers in terms of recommendations and reviews. Increasingly, new customers are looking to that or they're looking to it in an even bigger way as an indicator of whether or not they should trust a new online retailer. So don't forget after the purchase to, to ask your customers uh, to write recommendations and reviews and be thinking about the service that you provide throughout the season to all your customers because this will be the time of year where more customers than ever will be writing recommendations and reviews about your business. So make sure to focus about turning that into an asset. Email marketing is a big deal throughout the year. It's even bigger source of potential revenue in the run up to Christmas. You should be thinking about increasing your frequency of email marketing activity, but don't go overboard. Uh, it's, it's easy to do that. Be thinking about every campaign and a message with that campaign. Too often I've seen Christmas-based emails being one recycled email after another. Run those emails early in the season that are about launch of Christmas recommended bestsellers and gift guides earlier in the season, bestsellers as the season progresses, offers and delivery messaging as Christmas becomes closer. Um, so, so break that campaign down, break the message down, still make it relevant even when the frequency is increasing. Abandoned basket emails, even more traffic and more conversion rate than ever at Christmas, but a lot more abandoned baskets uh, to also focus on uh, that type of email campaign can 
can actually be one of the biggest and most effective uh, this side of Christmas. And back to what we were talking about earlier about out of stocks, it would be ideal if you have a mechanism to allow customers to be notified when once products return to stock that they're, they're interested in. On the advertising front, I just want to comment briefly on AdWords, uh, pay-per-click advertising, specifically Google AdWords. It's something that you as an online retailer will have been investing in to some extent. It's a very powerful tool for online retail. Christmas is a, is a, is a big opportunity to expand investment in that area and return. Uh, response rates and conversion rates end up making KPIs in this area look a lot more attractive and there's a, there's a lure to, to do even more. Don't just expand your existing campaigns, but also think of Christmas specific campaigns. Uh, you may have gift-based advertisements running throughout the year. There is obviously very specific seasonal keyword traffic around, around Christmas type searches. It's important to, to selectively test and invest in those areas, but very, very important to watch your budgets at this time of year. Volume, volume is up so much that you run the risk of either going way above your budget and not achieving an ROI when you're testing new areas. Equally, you run the risk of running out of budget, daily budget, when you are really converting very well. So it's important at either end of the spectrum to, to, to watch your daily budgets and your returns on investments. But be prepared to reinvest if you're getting a very good return on investment, even if you've only set aside X. It's important to, to make that business case on the fly to, to, to reinvest. And watch again for out of stocks and the issue that it will have on your, on your Google AdWords. Uh, again, something I've often seen is ads running through Christmas weeks after products or entire categories have gone out of stock. So make sure the marketing guys are actually talking to the stock guys on that front. You'll no doubt have been spending some time exploring the new social media networks as it relates to your, your online business, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. They're all gaining vastly larger audiences. You will have probably had a Facebook page at a minimum and have seen that audience grow. Don't forget to increase your communications on your Facebook and Twitter channels uh, at this time of year. Think competitions, Amazon started running 12 days of Christmas competitions several years ago. Many retailers have used that successfully, including Freebie. So look to, look to invest some time and resource to, to tapping into that, just to add that extra fun factor to the Christmas marketing mix. And with the, with the growing audiences and those social networks, it's just a matter of time before that starts converting into, into meaningful sales volumes. Don't just think in terms of the, the sales opportunity uh, on social networks, but also think about the service side of it. Increasingly, customers who have problems are resorting to social networks, Twitter or Facebook, to vent their frustrations or their concerns. So make sure that you're monitoring those networks and your presence on those networks for those issues as well, and, and that you respond to those promptly. Christmas can be a really effective time of year to think more creatively about your marketing partnerships. It could be a business that offers complementary products and those products could form part of your competitions on Facebook or email campaigns. Your affiliate programs, your formal affiliate programs are very important this time of year. These are usually ones managed under third party networks where publishers get paid commissions for driving traffic and sales to your site. Think about special increased commissions during Christmas or special bonuses to top performing affiliates. Anything to get them motivated to better promote and increasingly promote your business to their supporters. And don't forget about PR. Every message that you send out there is an opportunity for another website or another business to be promoting yours back. Everything is, everything is a sales and PR opportunity at this time of year. Thinking about online retail with a multi-channel hat on this Christmas, 
some of the largest online retailers like John Lewis have been referencing in the press that they're expecting more sales to be derived from mobile and tablet sales versus home PC use. If you have a mobile version of your online shop in place, make sure you give attention to it. It's, it's necessary attention in terms of the way you merchandise it and the way you, you update your content uh, to be in line and synchronized with your, with your full site. If you don't have those in place, it's important that you watch your, your, your reports and your Google Analytics because it's probably something you should be looking to invest in in 2014. So at least be measuring the visitation that you're getting from these merging channels. Be thinking if you've got a physical store about the connection between your online shop and the physical shop experience. This is a big emerging area. If you have any feature and service that encourages customers to be able to collect products from your physical shop, you've heard this referred to as click and collect, it's something you'll see even more uptake this side of Christmas. This, is, this will be by far the biggest year ever in terms of volume in that area. Overall though, this is the direction that the digital world, the e-commerce world is going in. It's more of a, a multi-channel or an omni-channel type uh, future where customers want to be able to interact across devices. And there's a bit more of a blurred line between the, the purely online shopping experience and, and, and the retail, the physical shop experience. Key diary dates in the run-up to Christmas, Cyber Monday is a biggie. You've heard this referred to in the press over the years as the forecasted biggest online sales day. This year it's projected to be December 2nd. We've seen very seasonal retailers experience tripling or even more of sales relative to their to their daily high and other days during the year, even around Christmas. Non-seasonal retailers can still expect to see a doubling of sales on that day. So make sure that the site is ready for it from a tech standpoint and you're ready to problem solve if, if things go wrong. Warehousing and operations needs to be ready for that as well on the day and the days to follow. I mean, all hands on deck if, if need be. In terms of the timing of your sale, of course, traditionally this is a Boxing Day and New Year's type event. Increasingly over the last few years, both online and on the high street, you see sales activities moving up to even before Christmas. I think you'll see even more activity along those lines this year. So that's a business call every, every retailer has to make. Uh, be, be expecting to see more competition in this area in terms of your core campaigns, in terms of digital marketing, Make sure you've got your email campaigns ready to roll for Boxing Day and for New Year's for your sales event. And even if your office is closed, make sure those are, those are set up and ready to be sent because customers will, will definitely be ready for them and, and wanting to respond. So that really sums up my holistic perspective on, on the key areas that you need to be focusing on. Every online retailer needs to be focusing on in the run-up to Christmas and trying to make the most of the opportunity. I really wish you the best of success. Uh, and if there's anything more you'd like to know about me and my business, you can visit my website at venturestream.co.uk. Thanks.